like old times. Ready to get back to work? I thought you'd never ask. Hey everyone, Daniel Kaiser here in Montreal and I'm talking science of games. And today we've got Radash here from WAC, which is a consulting group, talking all about video games. And I want to talk to you today about artificial intelligence. We see characters like Cortana from Halo or Claptrap from Borderlands that are these sentient beings that kind of inform us. And uh, they're a lot of fun along the way. But let's talk about where we're at currently with artificial intelligence and what it's going to take to get to that point. There's a terminus on the far side of the complex. We can portal to the planet's core from there. Today, artificial intelligence is sort of divided in many different uh, aspects. Basically, we have some symbolic AI, which has to do with logic, which has to do with planning and inference. And it's sort of like a very hard, like human-made, you have to con control everything and make all the rules and basically build a system from scratch. Then we have this sub-symbolic uh, uh, field of AI, which is sort of getting a lot of interest modern interest, well, the interest in 90s and uh, 2000s, which is basically stuff like neural networks or genetic algorithms, which are, uh, with those two things are based on biology. It's biological based artificial intelligence. Chief, really, I'm fine. Uh, in 2000, there has been an increase in research of statistical based AIs, which are basically built on huge data sets which we give the AI algorithm to analyze it, to infer it, and to draw conclusions from it. You are kidding me. It's very difficult to control such a device because we just have the input, the network learns stuff, and the network behaves like we trained to behave. And also depends on a lot of human interference of parameters as well. So this thing which we don't understand, we have to put some parameters and guess basically how you want to control it. And that's why in the modern uh, days, like statistical approach is much widely used, much more controllable, much more powerful, let's say. Programming information and emotion are two totally different things, but I think humans have always had this fantasy of, you know, these beings like Cortana that we could interact with and actually have a conversation that is not going to be just information, actually carry through with some emotion. Are we anywhere near that? Basically, Cortana is uh, constructed by scanning a human brain, scanning all how the electrons move through the brain, how they propagate and basically the network of the brain, and we digitalize it. And apparently that is enough to trap an intelligence and put it in a machine. But today we actually did construct a neural network with 100 billion neurons. It's about five times the number of the neurons than in the human brain. And we had this idea that if we put all these neurons together, intelligence is going to come. It appears that this network didn't do much because it's not enough to just put neurons and link them together by randomly and have intelligence. Like before we fully understand how the brain communicates with itself, uh, with, it's going to be very, very difficult to use this approach of brain scanning to, uh, to make an artificial intelligence. The artificial intelligence technology is there. We have the concept, the mathematical concept of intelligence, but we lack the proper data. We have like the proper tools to scan the brain to transfer it. The other approach, we, which games like Deus Ex uh, created, the artificial intelligence in Deus Ex or Fallout series or GLaDOS in Portal 2 are constructed by people, by mathematicians, by scientists from scratch. Oh, thank God, you're all right. The GLaDOS in Portal 2 has a module for morality, has a module for communication, has uh, also is a collection of modules for aggression, and when you take out a certain model, the AI stops to behave properly. No, 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 no. And that is more close to what sort of we have today. Look, we both said a lot of things that you're going to regret. But I think we can put our differences behind us. For science, you monster. We do need to add some human element to this artificial intelligence, and that is the hard part. Not the analysis of data, not prediction of the future, but basically mimicking and being believable, because when I look at you, I have so many cues from your muscles, from your face, from your body, which I infer emotions, and if you look at a CG character, no matter how realistic it is, you immediately see that something is off, that this is not a super real person, something, some small detail. A human body, human brain is exceptionally optimized to process facial expressions and appearances of other human beings in order to get more information about them. 
I am not easily repulsed. Well, it's fascinating stuff, and I feel more intelligent for having spoken with you about it. So thanks so much. And for the latest on science and games, you can head online to GameTrailers.com. Just go. <laughs> it's been fun. Don't come back.